Hi guys. Uh, we're just going to step through sort of some retouching methods here and see if we can't um, restore the image into something more closely resembling a product shot. So, um, so I'm just going to duplicate that layer because uh, I think that's a pretty good practice to do so. And what I'd like to do is bring out my rulers. Now I'm just going to use, make sure you've got your, your, your rulers on and then we're just going to drag this out into position, into the middle. And we're just going to just transform that. Um, just, whoops. just transform that around just to sort of get that good alignment. Something like so. Yes. Pretty good. Okay, so we're just sort of centering the piece here. That's sort of um, a lot of things happen when you uh, use cameras and things not aligned properly. Um, but so just, just step one, get that that to get that alignment get that sort of straight perpendicular look about it and, uh, okay that's not too bad <clears throat> now we're going to need to remove the background of this uh, and you could do that in any number of ways but um, for high quality sort of work um, <clears throat> I like to use the pen tool it sort of gives me the most sort of flexibility and, and in many times it's probably the most accurate method your quick selection tools and things like that sometimes tend to fail you in uh, certain situations you can you know you don't you don't get that crispness that you're sort of looking for so while it does take a little bit of extra time sometimes I think <clears throat> generally speaking for high quality work I like to use the pen tool if I can possibly do so to isolate my subject and so it does tend to take a little bit longer, but results will sort of be better. And just going through, pen tool, pen tool. So we'll keep those points sort of as few and as smooth as possible. And make sure your is joined. Once you've done that, you might want to mask that off and then you've got your lovely crisp shape. Very, very nice. It's quite perpendicular. It's just kind of good. Um, so that's looking okay. Um, here's our first stage. A um, couple of things here. You might want to check the... Talking about it being perpendicular, you might want to check out the guides here. As you can see, if I pull out <coughs> more guides, I can see that... Um, She's not quite level or, or horizontal here, so what I might do is I might bring the guides in, I might transform that with Command T and just give it a little bit of distortion, just so hopefully we can kick that bottom out and get it looking sort of as good as we can possibly make it. Um, that's feeling quite straight, quite perpendicular. One final thing, I'll just pull this guide here. <clears throat> this is kind of bothering me that this is not straight. If this was a product shot, that most likely would need to be straight or at least closer to perfect or perpendicular. Um, so what I might just do there is I might just see if I can't just grab that part of the image with my quick selection tool, make sure I've got it all there. think and what I might do is I might just command J to duplicate that layer fantastic and I might just do the same deal so I might have popped off that there okay so I'm just going to transform that fellow and just a little bit of distortion there just see if I can't improve that label just a little bit and there we go that feels better 
better. It feels a little bit more perpendicular, a bit more perfect. Um, and you know, happy days. All right, so that's sort of there. Might just merge those guys down at the moment. Um, those layers. So I've essentially got my bottle removed and I've made everything straight and perfect. Um, great, fantastic. We'll be on to the next stage. Okay, so we can move on to the second stage. This is this is enhancing our image now. So um, typically, uh, what I'll need to do here is make a couple of selections from my bottle, and I'm basically just going to be using the quick selection to isolate my label uh, and my sort of my neck label here. Uh, I might even get my cap, so I'll get my cap label. And so just the, the cap head, uh, the neck label, and we're going to need this um, main label. So I'm just going to pull that out as a selection. Uh, fabulous, great. So what you might want to do from time to time is to save selections. So um, what I'm going to do here is go to the select menu and I'm going to save selection. And I'm going to call this label. Fantastic. And now I'm going to need the bottle as well. So instead of me selecting it again, I'm just going to invert my selection. So I'm going to select inverse, Command Shift I. Now I'll have everything but the labels. And I will save that as a selection as well. Select, save selection, and that can be bottle. Great. And by the way, your your selections are saved in your channels over here, as you can see. So um, they, they're always saved and accessible. Okay, and if we've saved a selection, what we can do is load them from the select menu. Load. I'm going to bring up my... I'll do my bottle first, I think. Great. So I'm going to put some adjustment layers on this. And um, you could use many, many different adjustment layers. I might go with a curve for this one. Curves are fabulous. So all, all I want to do here is just bring out some of the richness that exists in that glass, some of the colour. I'm really going to try to bring some of that out. You don't want to top it out too much or blow out your whites and things. So just trying to get as much as colour and richness into that as you can. And yeah, look, I'm going to say okay to that. Um, fantastic. <clears throat> Uh, that's done a pretty good job. If I had a say in this, I think this is blown out a little bit at the bottom here. So because that's an adjustment layer, it's highly, highly uh, editable, flexible. And I've just got a big soft brush. <clears throat> Make sure when you're retouching, you generally want uh, a soft brush. I find a soft brush uh, tends to work best for retouching purposes. So get your brush. Make sure it's soft. And I've set it to black. And I'm just going to... On my mask, I'm just going to bring some of that richness back. I sort of feel like it went a little bit overboard in places. Um, but there we go. So we've just maybe darkened at the bottom. But that's essentially I've, I've, I've sort of enhanced the glass a little bit. Um, so what I want to do now is bring oh, some attention to the label. So I'm going to go to the select menu, going to load it up. I'm going to bring back my label. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm essentially going to give this a bit of a uh, tweak. Um, so I'm going to go to the adjustments. And you could try anything. But not my try levels this time. And so if I can't bring some sort of sh lightness. It's a little bit dark for me. So I'm just going to lighten it off a bit. You can see, you know, maybe something like that. Okay. And that, as we know, with because it's a... Uh, a uh, an adjustment layer uh, we can sort of restore some of that darkness on the edges just to we might have gone a little bit hard in places just to just a little bit around the cap we might have gone a bit hard there but just a little bit of a tweak there so they're starting to feel pretty good actually um, so that's sort of the stage two sort of bit of enhancing, bit of saving selections, enhancing 
uh, with targeted selections and adjustment layers. Uh, we'll move on to the stage two. So on to our next stage, we're just trying to sort of tidy up some of the uh, blemishes on the image itself. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, the um, spot healing brush, and that's where we can sort of essentially paint over areas to repair things. Um, typically, what you probably want to do is create a new layer and make sure that when you're doing that, you've got sample all layers checked. That way, we'll be doing all of our corrections on a new layer so it's sort of a little bit more non-destructive and i'm using a very soft brush whenever i whenever i can to do this thing it sort of tends to not leave uh you know um edges and things like that which is a bit of the the um the enemy of retouching and i want to show show your workings if if at all possible and there's a bit of touching up here and there and it, this thing can take time you just Take your time, little spots here and there, and that's through the worst of it here and there. And again, being on this new layer gives us that flexibility of sort of being able to undo or retouch things. So, very nicely, just going through here, and that's the worst of them, that's the worst of them here and there. And there we go. So we're doing the the enhancing, the spot healing, just to do this in this non-destructive way. Um, there we go. So that's looking far better, looking a bit more real. <clears throat> um, okay, so just spot healing on that non-destructive layer. Okay. Yeah, and once we've done all the corrections and the adjustment layers and all those sorts of things we can then start to apply a background and typography and those sorts of things to really sort of start to make it feel like a finished piece of artwork so I'll just turn these guys on this is just uh, a sort of example of what you might be able to achieve with this uh, using these tools and effects so there we have it there is um, our beer bottle mock-up uh, sort of turned into something a little bit more presentable from an existing not so great image so um uh this is by no means meant to be a uh, exclusive way of doing anything these are more tricks and tips and things that uh, might assist you to uh, create um, nice graphics okay guys thanks for that i'll see you in the lesson